Our next guest is someone that every pro-life coffee addict should know about, the owner of a fairly new company called Seven Weeks Coffee. Seven Weeks Coffee has been around for about a year now, and its founder refers to himself as a, quote, believer in the marketplace. 10% of all proceeds made at the company are donated to local pregnancy care centers, giving a greater purpose to your morning cup of joe. Joining me now is Anton Kresik, founder of Seven Weeks Coffee. Anton, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. And I understand that initially you wanted to work in the political sphere. Now you're running a very successful coffee business. So talk to me about how that transition happened. Yeah, so I moved down to D.C. almost three years ago uh, with the passion just to get involved in the political process. Um, I learned a lot. I worked in political fundraising before this. But I actually always had um, a very big heart for the pro-life movement. Um, I was able to visit a pregnancy care center years ago, and that really stuck with me and um, led to the start of Seven Weeks Coffee, actually. Uh, that's so wonderful. And talk to me a little bit about the name, Seven yeah. Weeks Coffee. I, I love the inspiration for it, so share it with mm -hmm. our guests. Sure. So when I had the idea for a pro-life coffee company, I wanted to try to to find a way to tie it in to the meaning and the purpose behind it. So after doing some research and I talked to my wife, who's a nurse, um, she kind of like asked me, when's a baby the size of a coffee bean? So I looked it up at seven weeks, a baby is the size of a coffee bean. And at the same time, a heartbeat's clearly detectable under ultrasound. So I was like, that is the name. That's what we're going to call the company. I love it. When I heard mm -hmm. that, I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Best company ever. <laughs> How has your first year been? Any any challenges, anything that surprised you about running a business specifically with, you know, a pro-life mission? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was truly eye-opening. Um, God has blessed us more than we ever could have imagined. Um, there really was no pro-life coffee company around uh, that I really saw making a kind of a national impact and stage. I was like, there's a mission here and there's an impact that we can we can have. And the whole idea was to have a tangible impact supporting life-saving services at pregnancy care centers. So that's how we tied in to donate 10% of every sale. We wanted to raise money for centers. Mm. And of course, the year we get started is the year that Roe v. Wade is overturned. So right. it's very crucial timing. We're able to direct a large portion of our sales to centers in need. With over 100 centers already attacked just in, you know, after Roe v. Wade was mm. overturned, it's really important we're able to stand up for them. So yeah. um, perfect timing, actually. Yeah, it's a great point. Very relevant time mm -hmm. to be starting a business like this. And, you know, talk to me just a little bit before I let you go about the quality of your coffee and, and where people can buy it. Yeah, so the quality is a very important part. We source our coffee direct trade, which means we're directly supporting local farmers. And we have a high quality um, coffee bean from Ethiopia, which are organically farmed, um, no pesticides, no mold. So you can buy there. You can also shop your values. So it's all found at sevenweekscoffee.com. And in our first year, Prudence, we raised over $50,000 for Center. So that was our big announcement. We surpassed our goal. Over 250 centers supported. So great coffee and a great mission. We hope anyone who drinks coffee would join us. Yeah, that's wonderful. We'll all certainly be drinking a cup of Seven Weeks Coffee. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Anton, for joining us.